In this video, I'm going to find the least common multiple of three numbers. And in the case of this, I'm probably going to use prime factorization. One reason I choose to use that is I can multiply very quickly when I'm talking about small numbers. And so I'd rather make smaller numbers than larger numbers. The larger numbers I can't do in my head. Smaller numbers, I have a better chance. So let's go ahead and take a look at this, where I will choose the prime factorization method. And so I have 3, 24, and 30. And I'm going to find the prime factorization. Well, 3 is 1 and 3. It's prime. So I'm done. 24 is divisible by 6, and so I'm going to call it 6 and 4. 6 is not prime, and so I have to split 6 into 2 primes, 3 and 2. 4 is not a prime number, and it is 2 times 2. And so I have, in the case of uh, the number 3, I have the number 3, and that's it. That's my only prime, so I'm going to put 3 to the first. In 24, I have 1, 2, 3 twos. That's 2 to the third power times 3 to the first. In 30, when I split 30 up, it's 3 and 10. 3 is prime, 10 is not. 10 is 2 times 5. And so that way, I have 2 to the first times 3 to the first times 5 to the first. And according to my, uh, according to my uh, steps to find the least common multiple through prime factorization, I now start with the lowest prime factor of all of the numbers and choose the one that occurs the most. And so I have zero twos here, I have three twos here, I have one two here. I'm going to choose the three twos because it is the most out of all of them. So I have two to the third. At that time, I'm going to cross off all the twos. I've already chosen, so I don't want to try to screw myself up by looking at them further. Step three says go to the next factor and continue step three until you're complete. Okay, and so we're going to use step, uh, we're going to go from two. Now we're going to check threes. I have one three and one three and one three. That means that the largest of all of them is just one three. It doesn't matter which one you pick though. So once you have it, cross the other threes out times three to the first. Threes are gone. Finally, I go on to fives. Oh, I have one here. There are none anywhere else, and so I have to choose that one. Cross that out. All of the factors are crossed out, and therefore they are all accounted for. So now I can go ahead and multiply this out, which is step four. This becomes two times two times two times three times five. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 3 is 24, times 5, and now this is a tough one, but 20 times 5 is 100, 4 times 5 is 20, so it's 120. So, the least common multiple of 3, 24, and 30, not 40, 30, is 120. That's the answer. And so it's not really that tough of a problem as far as that goes, but if you multiply them through, you might not recognize that 120 is a multiple of 24. And if you didn't, then you'd have to multiply through 30 quite a few times and then come back and try multiples of 24. It could spend a lot of time that way. That's why I choose prime factorization with three numbers.